What's up, everyone? John Spaulding on Steam. G1 and TOL on YouTube. TSP Productions, aka the Steaming Pile Productions. As far as TSP Productions goes, um... I haven't made the actual uh, Lino account yet or anything like that. Okay. But I was thinking, I was just more focused on a little more ideation. I don't know. I definitely just want to do a slow plan of like one of the gen type forms. I definitely want to do something like that. You mean like where and we have so a pan, like a panel? Yeah, a panel. Yeah. Definitely like not on D Live unless you know we do a panel on something like that. But you know, just like we were, you know, and pull people out that we know personally or that we can talk to on Twitter and you know do that sort of thing. So I think that'll be. Uh, a nice first step as far as a, a good project goes. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that'll be cool, too, because w- when we simulcast to the different spots, we'll bring in, hopefully we'll bring in different audiences from the different platforms. Exactly. That would be the hope. And um, If not, we'll just cause a bunch of drama, which is also fine with me. Well, hey, I mean, I still am convinced that... I mean, the more people that... And people still don't know about it, just because PewDiePie, I don't, again... I didn't know who PewDiePie was until I started streaming. So people that don't stream, which are the people everyone's complaining aren't on places like DLive because it's all streamers, right? Yep. I have a whole bunch of streamers as my friends, so I don't get a lot of people coming to my streams because when I'm streaming, what are they doing? They've got their own streams, right? You know, Tony's sure. streaming, Eric's streaming, you know, they're all so it's, you know. Yep. That's just the way and it goes. Before, and just so you're not thrown off guard, in about 10 minutes... I invited someone in here who has never <laughs> live streamed before, and I told her that she would be a good potential streamer. Oh, okay. So she's coming okay. in to like kind of watch, ask ask questions, and I don't know, nice. just kind of get involved right. and figure out which which way she wants to take it. So for those right. of you who are watching live, if you are a live streamer and you are watching us, come in and share your experiences with her as well, because. Sean and I will only get her so far. Yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. It always comes down to just having the courage to do that first one and do everyone, really. It takes a little bit of like, okay, here I go, putting myself out there. Um, so. Yeah, yeah I like the thought of planning some, some town halls based around yeah. topics. I mean, that's, I'm obviously all about that. I think that. We, we, I think it, the key is to have good topics and then have a good pitch to people that we want to invite, and kind of let them know how we'll how we'll facilitate it and and yeah. you know what we expect to get out of it. Yeah, honestly, I really envision like maybe politics, civics, certainly, which is what we kind of were doing already. Um, but a lot of this just comes from the fact that like, gosh, I really want a politics show. I hate to do just the same like steaming pile esque stuff or gen or PRTV type stuff. And I think the most successful stuff we did was were those. So maybe just once a month, if we get really efficient at it and it's really, you know, uh, we you know make a lot or, you know, however mm-hmm. you want to measure that, we mm-hmm. can do more, but start with one a month and um, see how it's received and, you know, do that on the TSP channel. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be a good okay. first goal. Okay. I like that. And uh, I like the y- – you would put something in Discord about I go to TSP YouTube and you go to TSP D Live. Is that correct? Or what were your thoughts on that? Is that something I yeah, – that's off of something I posted in Discord? I'm not I could have sure. sworn. Yeah, I, 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 you were talking about <laughs> who would do – that. who would simulcast to the different streams. Yeah, was that me? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways. I thought so. I think that'd be something maybe we just, yeah, we'll figure that out. Because I think that's important. I think going to Vim, DLive, YouTube, Tw- Twitch, or, who, you know, if we can, or if there, if we catch up, if we catch a couple other people that want to come on, that want to go to their channel. Yeah, I hear you. No, that definitely, definitely. And, and that'll be something we're still open to, just the multicasting aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if we ever, I, I don't know a specific first topic or anything like that. So it might just end up being 
we ask a whole bunch of different people and build the topic around whoever we get first sort of thing. Maybe. I like civics. I, m- maybe we start with civics. Maybe we can well, yeah. go and seek out some, like, civics 101 professors mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. see, get, get, like, an email together and see who replies. Yeah. And put and in there, you know, it's... A, old yeah, it's... A, it, maybe it, innovative. You can join online. I wonder if he's involved with the <clears throat> Sanders campaign again, or still. Our past guest had just... Mm-hmm just uh gotten the job i think when we were talking to him um so we could reach out to him again and yeah yeah and and i think anyone that spans the political spectrum that is willing to just kind of dive in with uh like here's here's uh civics 101 or here's some basics and then kind of apply it with a discussion or a debate you know where we like kind of pick an issue Mm -hmm. and the panelists Mm -hmm. talk their view on it Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Just yeah, just throwing stuff out there. Just throwing stuff out and we'll go back and and see what sticks and see what resonates with other people too. Um I got politics on here is so like right wing libertarian like poli- down with it's the not tax politics. System, which is great. It's not but politics, it's, like, it's civics. Yeah. It's learning how to it's, talk to one another yeah. about politics. <laughs> yeah. True. So Fair enough. That's what I that's what I thought. Maybe it'll work. Uh, for those of you who are watching on mine and on Sean's, we have a new number today, a temp number. Um, we will have a new formal steaming pile number, Zoom number, ASAP. I just have to make some final arrangements. My other account um, is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yeah, that's all I really so, can say, I think. Um, yeah. So What's that number, John? It mm-hmm. is 599-401-0101. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. Uh, 0110? 599-401-010. Mm-hmm. Yes. 010. Oh. 010. So just go to zoom.us, everyone, and hit those nine numbers in, and you will join us live. You can join live via audio, uh, video, or you can they'll give you some dial-in numbers once you go to zoom.us and, and plug in, and you can do it that way. So right, right. jump on the pile, talk about some weird news, come chat with us about uh, your life and how things are going. Yeah. Yeah, that's always an adventure. Life's... All right. Well, let's see here. We got a little bit of time. Um, was there anything else? No, that that was that really pretty straightforward. Settled that. Um, let's see. We've already I made guess, an executive decision. Yeah, I mean, I think we did. I guess um, <laughs> in the next month i don't know if we'll be able to pull something together this for 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 may but um i guess it would depend on how fast we can get a a decent guess i suppose um but if you were to do it like late this month was there what other days are you uh available or potentially available for if you get prior notice early enough saturdays fridays like uh that is a good question um, get back to me. <laughs> no, I can do Friday nights. I'm trying to think of what I have two weekends that are bad. One's Memorial Day, and the other one is the second week of June. But I think Memorial Day is the only bad one. And then the Friday, the 17th, or something like that, I can't do. Okay. okay. So, but well, Fridays are good. Uh, th- th- Tuesday, sorry, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays are good nights. Fridays, I just need to know in advance if we're going to do it or not. Oh, okay. Because I know there's one that's bad, and then I know Memorial Day weekend is out. Okay. Yeah, that's probably fair for me, too. Just better to plan it like that. So the uh, just in case we end up doing something. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, I am going to see or check this. We're streaming. We're going. I got, I got some. I'm trying to do the whole like different setup for every 
instance I, of streaming and God, I just, I messed it up again. I, OBS, the one problem is I keep on getting it throwing away my scenes. And so I'm just constantly having to back them up. And like I lost some of the backups or accidentally got deleted or something. Oh, really? So, yeah. So I kind of had to re do everything like drop frame like not drop frames it's just it doesn't record right <laughs> like all the scenes all of a sudden are black like it just blackens the screens like they're still there but you go to them and they're empty scenes oh that's heartbreaking dude yeah rip yeah <laughs> oh my god i'm sad i'm like feel terrible for you yeah it's lame so there's that but... In the background. That was me. I was just oh, opening up my Vimmer to see if there was any comments. Hey, I think this funny. might be Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Thanks for coming on. What are you, one minute late? Uh, <laughs> I needed tea. Yeah, that's very oh, important for uh, live streaming okay. discussion. Is it? What kind of tea is it? Earl Grey. I love, that's one of my favorite teas, actually. Back when I was in college, um, my, youth, my youth minister, he actually had this special blend. It was Earl Grey and vanilla. And it was Ooh. so good. I used to just make, like, iced Earl Grey. I would brew it, and then I would just put it in a pitcher and drink it. It's cause it's, I've had that before. Because yeah. Earl Grey is caffeinated, I believe. And so... Yes. It like, yeah, so it, it helps. <laughs> and it's nice to just pull out this pitcher of cold, caffeinated, not coffee beverage. Not coffee. Well, coffee will keep me up till 3 in the morning, and I wake up at six in the, at 6.30 in the morning, so... You wake up at 6.30? My day job. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm a bank teller by day. That's right. Nice. So we, uh, we do a lot of live streaming in the cryptoverse, and... Uh, the crypto people don't really like bank tellers or banks. Oh. Like, mostly banks. I'm sorry. You're not making yeah, enemies. Just I'm just there. It's not like you're a, You're not the problem. It's okay. <laughs> so I get, uh, this is Sean S. Porter. Hi. And we've been doing like live streams and live kind of group discussions and uh, all sorts of panel discussions and things like that since 2016. And I told him that you were coming in. And then I, w I told our audience, I said, please, guys, if you are a live streamer and you hear us, come into the Zoom room and say hello to Rebecca and talk to us about live streaming. And if not, you guys can put in the chat room some links and things like that, and I will get those to her. So, Rebecca, you have never live streamed in your life. Is that correct? Tell I've never done it before. Um so this past weekend, when I went to visit my boyfriend, he and his friend decided to play a lean, mean little prank on me. Um, I, I was playing. I like to uh, play games with one of, with his friend, and his friend apparently does live streaming. And we started the game. It was Killing Floor Two, and he's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, we're streaming." And I'm like, "What? <laughs> we're live?" Mm-hmm. And apparently, so that's, like, that's, that's like the old push in the in the pool. Sometimes, not thinking about it. And it's like, oh, okay. It's not so nervous, you know. Right. right. It's like the water's a little cold, but I can get used to this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so fun, did they though. slaughter you, like, live? Actually. Or were um, they nice? Actually, well, he was the one who was manning it. Um, he was the one who had all the computers and stuff set up on it. Um, it was, um, so I don't really, I couldn't really see what he was seeing because he was in, like, another state. Right, right. Um, but... Did you check uh, the d d did he have a VOD of it? Uh I I want to say yes. Um I uh, I hope so cuz uh I don't have his number but my boyfriend does so I'm going to have to ask him like hey ask if he has a VOD of that. Cuz Yeah. And he might he will also be a good resource to help you kind of get started with doing that if you guys want to. <laughs> um See, the first thing, so I do mine on a laptop, and so I think that's why I have a lot of problems, because generally, laptop machines aren't supposed to be able to push out streams. I couldn't, I would never be able to stream video games, that's why I stream Zoom, because it takes so much bandwidth to put out. Um, internet bandwidth and PC, like, power. 
But uh, we use uh, OBS. It's online broadcasting software, and most people do. There's other ones out there that you can use for live streaming. And then uh, there's, uh, I think the easiest, the, the easiest way for uh, for you to start if you wanted to do video games would be to ha- get a computer that has a good video card or a good graphics card, mm-hmm. and then get a capture card for your device. If you're, or if you game on a PC, then you have to have. I think you can game. You can stream from your PC. Is that right, Sean? And you, you can what? stream from your PC and play your game on the same PC. Through what? Can you play the game on the PC and stream it from the same one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you can do it on that device. <laughs> yeah. And then if if you have if you want to use a platform like a PlayStation or something like that, then you have to get a capture card. Something that'll capture that and then throw it to your uh, computer. Do you know where I could find, like, are those just on Amazon or are they at, like, Best Buy? Both. Um, Both. You have to find oh, one yeah. that fits you. I know Elgato has a, a cheaper capture on card. Amazon, that's for sure. Right. <laughs> uh, which one do you have, Sean? I have an Elgato, but I have, um... oh, I forget what my other one is. It starts with an M, I think. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Capture cards. <clears throat> oh, um, yeah, all I've got is an external Elgato. That's the most, or I think that's the least, most cost effective. Elgato? So. Like, like, Elgato, yes. like cat in Spanish? There it is. Oh, hold, hold the back back up, Sean, so she could see it. Elgato. Okay. Yeah. Just tiny little thing. Then it, but then, it's cool because then you can just take it anywhere, um, and I don't need to. I don't have to use that for streaming through PC. I just use that for um, streaming PS4. You can use it for other console streaming, and I you can use it for like I u- hook my DSLR camera up to it, and it'll stream. So I was doing a couple barbecue cooking streams with it out back as the weather gets nice. Uh, Sharon is watching Vim TV developer. What's up, Sharon? You can come on in if you want and say hi. Hey, you can also t- come talk, um, come help Rebecca get started with live streaming. The <laughs> other cool one, uh, the other p- program I would learn even before you want to start streaming is OBS and kind of playing around with it. I- even if you're not streaming games, like figuring out how to connect the camera, how to bring the camera into the scene, how to bring the mic into the scene looking at the different controls and the mixer and how to how to use that and get that to work. So that's OBS is called um open broadcasting software. All right. And like I'm learning gonna... like stream keys and settings and things like that. And this right, is a v- I, need, no, I need to write this down. <laughs> this is a VOD. We're recording all of it. Okay. We're all recording right, all of it cuz you have to do uh, you have to talk with us about weird news too if you're able to. Weird news? Weird news. Like, weird de- define weird news. Oh, weird news defines itself. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you're about to find out. Oh god. <laughs> uh, Do you have first Oh, go ahead, oh, go ahead, Sean. I was going to say our first story is um not too risky or risque. It's um I'm going to do I'm going to switch here to screen share. Can you guys see that? Should be able to. Uh, artificial intelligence gets tasked with inventing a playable sport. So basically this is weird because it instantly reminded me of like Running Man, the futuristic, like we're, we're gonna, this is how we're gonna come up with future money-making sports when it's all about the money and the moolah, just like it is in the NFL already, right? They try and act like they care about people, but they don't. Just like college sports, they try and act like they care about people. They don't. It's all about fun. Oh, my God. So this is the ultimate. Tell us how you really feel. Future. Oh, you're going to learn. Trust me. <laughs> so but get this. So, okay. So they went and put in 400 different um, different types of uh, sports through a neural network. A set of algorithms and they wanted it to kind of develop go through all these different 
sports and all the different ways people play them and uh, the different rules and come up with its own sport. And it came up with a couple different ideas before coming up with this one, which is, I'm going to admit, pretty boring. I'm not going to bore you with it. You can read it if you want. Uh, kind of ultimate. It was a blend of rugby, croquet, soccer, and ultimate frisbee. So like, I don't know. Soccer is probably the coolest sport out of there. I don't know. Oh, no. Anyways. Ultimate frisbee is awesome. People, okay. Well, Have you ever okay. played? Thank no. You. Croquet? <laughs> what are you, the queen of hearts? I don't know. Well, it makes me think of Heathers. It makes me think of white people. <laughs> oh my god! That's the whitest fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well get That's a horse awesome. and play some polo while you're at it. I right. so you guys have never played ultimate frisbee, or you just don't think it's that fun? I actually haven't, so I can't hit on to. I would, I would play. It. I think you like, like, I think if you would have found. Um, ultimate frisbee in college, you wouldn't be here today. You would have a different life, dude. I, oh, for me, maybe, maybe <laughs> running through the blossom fields of the UW campus, just oh, like goodness. you know, swiping frisbees past girls, like catching it around your leg. You know how they can jump right. up and catch it. Oh, yeah, you got the tank top on. I ha- the hair still long. No, you're right, man. Rebecca, how about you? Have you heard of ultimate frisbee? Yeah, they would they would uh, play it on um, on campus all the time, but I always managed to find some excuse to not do it because I was kind of shut in. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, now we look at all Sean's folders. Yeah. <laughs> all the passwords came up. Okay, so here's some other ones they came up with <laughs> raw early ideas. The first one is kind of when I instantly was like, "Yeah, this could go wrong," and that's an exploding frisbee relay where racers run on a track. While discs that explode on impact are thrown at them, that I'm sounds like, like something in that, a like a horror like this a is what, horror film. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. Like, this is what AI this is what's came up with in the next Saw movie. Yes, if they ever oh make another God. Saw movie. This is yeah, what happens to the in, program yeah. inside the Tron game. Yeah, yeah. The team's initial guidelines offered few instructions. Developers wanted to create a sport that was easy to learn, accessible to different types of athletes, and could be played outdoors or on a hand court in a wheelchair. Team members whittled down to three potential ideas they tested in person, um, but team members said they were shocked by the degree of creative absurdity and extreme danger in some of the ideas. Another one was a hot air balloon based sport in which players balance on a line tethered between aircraft and pass balls back and forth until they plummet to their death. That, that's awesome. Uh, I wanna that do be, that. Yeah. I you wanna could, you do know, that You can combine already. the top two, I'm gonna say. Right, you got people in the baskets from the opposite team, and you're whipping exploding frisbees at each other. Fucking a, dude. Yeah, that's the future. Okay, (laughs) that's the future. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, pummel horse sign, which is two people sit on pummel horses on opposite sides of a giant log and raw back and forth with a saw. That's just silly. They could add that maybe to like the um, log cutting, the the, the, yeah, Yeah. the lumberjack games. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, an underwater relay race, which actually could legit be interesting or really stupid. I don't know which one. I don't scuba deep dive. Like the lack of buoyancy would mean it. All you're doing is going under shit. So maybe, yeah, never mind. Sounds boring. And a form of rugby with obstacles that require gymnastic style maneuvers to conquer. So parkour meets football. I could see that, right? Some hippie guy is like, oh, parkour. And then boom. I, I could get into that. <laughs> oh, anyways. AI, I could just immediately say, okay, so they're going to put in another um, point for, okay, what would be, what do people like the most about NFL, the speed they like the, right? So I wonder if those things are attributed for, they're, they're saying what the goals of the game, the rules of the game are, the tactics of the game, but are they putting in like, and also let's focus on it being speed because that's what's interesting um like running man that specific idea or is obviously that's like a long played out show uh kind of show idea but obviously they'd get there by making money so it just instantly led to me like okay that's kind of the could go down everything can be painted and like well that that's a slippery slope towards something else but uh ai is always like that right that's kind of what's easy with ai it's like those memes that used to be where um, it's like this me this like we asked AI to like write a commercial or write a sketch and this this feel I feel like it's just some kind of weird offshoot of that. 
Essentially. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is. I, 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 that's where all of this is going. It's interesting. <laughs> But, you know, there are going to be some kinks along the way as AI is figuring itself out. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, human destruction. Little kinks. <laughs> Here and there. Yeah. I also thought it was interesting, this little, you know, not weird, but just kind of like the Peach Basket soccer ball core. Like, they, they, it was a well-written article at the Bulletin, which I've never read before. Central Organs, the Bulletin. So, thanks. Shout out for that. All right. So, next... We've got, oh yeah, so we kind of visited this one again. This is Siberian permafrost, exposes another animal here. Okay, let's go over here, boom. So, uh, foal or baby horse unearthed in the Siberian permafrost. And the reason this is a reoccurring segment here, unfortunately, is... We can't see it. Because we can't see it. Okay. Mm -mm. Got to share it on Zoom, too. I did again. Yeah. But for some reason, I thought I'd kept it going. There we go. All right. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a weird cross between a horse and a dog. It's a baby horse. Let's see, it's a baby horse, not a modern day, obviously, but so well preserved that, as you can see, it little hairs at the bottom of its uh, wow. horns. Wow, yeah, and mud. And nostrils Ooh. still are there. And so they, like, measured it and completely dissect this thing to try and figure something out. Apparently they got and extracted actual blood in. So they're trying to, they're, you know, the the more um, <clears throat> unjournalistic sites are like, oh, it's the... Jurassic Park thing, right? They're, you know, the clickbait. That's what I'll call it. Um, so I went to Live Science, which is a little more tame. I think you're right, Rebecca, though. That does look like a cross between a dog and a horse. Like a, a greyhound, specifically. I can see that, yeah. Then again, it might be the mud. This, at first I thought, oh, maybe it's fake, because this didn't ring accurate to me like they're just picking this is it because that up. guy's blue helmet is totally not centered well no that that's what, exactly what you would do Cent uncenter the helmet man this looks too staged right you <laughs> tell them to do that right but the fact that they're holding it is like why would you hold what if it, like broken half i mean i don't know i guess it's not that delicate that's where they found it um in yakutia russia the batagika which i'm sure i'm butchering crater um and this is where they're finding a lot of these species. There it is again. It's beautiful. I'm sure it's cold as fuck. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's them extracting blood. Experts were able to collect body fluids from the money, mummy for further study. Scientists removed samples from within the hooves of the foal. So yeah, interesting. And also unfortunate, again, like I said, because um, we've had so many occurrences of this. Oh, come on, move out of the way. There we go. So I put my zoom window on side by side view. Did that change for you guys as well? Or Sean, it won't change for you because you're doing the screen shares. How about your view, okay. Rebecca? Did it change? Yeah, it changed. So w where it'll have the cameras on the right hand side and the article in the uh, on the left. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry, so Sean. Here's the... No, you're fine. This is the uh, bison mummy, one of the first of that species found. Um, very impartial compared to like the foal we just saw, but also in Siberia. And so on and so on. A baby mammoth, a woolly rhino, um, which you could hardly recognize. Uh, a cave lion. This one was interesting because apparently it suffered from uh, its den probably being collapsed. And so it's kind what of. What is that? That's a what, cave lion? It's what they think it's a cave lion or a lynx kitten. Um, from the Ice Age, also. In I agree, Eastern Rebecca. Area. That looks sad. Poor baby. It is sad. So, um, baby mammoth as well. And um, where's the baby mammoth? I'll show you the baby mammoth. Hold on, John. It's where's a... Manny? Show me Manny. <laughs> where's the baby? The, the Zoom share window gets in the way of me dragging the tab. Okay, there we go. Yep. 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 Here. 
It You're is. doing a great job. CT scans have revealed that exquisitely <clears throat> well-preserved baby mammoth from Siberia died from, after choking on mud. They think it fell oh. in the thick mud. It was crossing the uh, frozen lake. And it's a, fell its own parents through. stomped on him to get to the other side. No, John. Jeez. I don't. I'm not sure that's happened, but <laughs> that's not what happened to this. It, it suffered enough, John. Don't Rebecca, is, I hope my sarcasm isn't like making you rethink uh, whether or not you want to be a live streamer. I'm only a, a fraction of, of people in this space. Uh, yeah. A small. Yeah. It's okay. There we go. Wow. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wow, that's not Very crazy. Well hey, little guy. <clears throat> mm, sorry. Just mostly um, something is off with the trunk. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it's like it, it comes out and then down. Like, specifically, like it, if you just look at the face part in the trunk, it looks like something out of one of those scary stories they tell in the dark books. Like, just I mean, change, like, the color. If you and move maybe it like, over a little bit to the left. Oh. Uh, no. Just zoom okay. in on the face and the trunk. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's super. perfect. Oh, okay. It does look a little bit off. It looks yeah. like, well, it definitely goes down further than, like, elephants, I think, tend to come out a little bit higher. I wonder if there's a, let's see, get out of here. Um, no real, like, I was wondering if there was, like, an artist's rendering of what it would look like when it was live. But, yeah, uh, also pretty um, Russian area somewhere around there. Um, anyways, so the reason this is also... Uh, a bad thing also, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the global warming is obviously causing these permafrost areas to melt, which results in us finding all this cool stuff, but also results in um, things like anthrax being released that was trapped in the ice. So this is from 2016, and I've talked about this before, but, you know, every time a new thing comes up, I start talking about it again, that um, these are just like the recently frozen you know anthrax 75 years old but the more it melts the older these you know diseases uh, will become or these viruses um and so you know this one um killed more than 2,000 reindeer sickened 13 people in siberia and was linked to the like i said 75 year old anthrax that were released uh in the permafrost so you know this is like a zombie movie script in the making, you know, mm -hmm. you got a super hot summer and then another one. And then next thing you know, weird zombies. things are going on in Russia. Yeah. And zombies. Exactly. Boom. So kind of uh, all encompassing story there. Like, yeah, these it's cool to make all these new discoveries. But let's remember that it's because of something we really don't want. If it's happening over there in such um, noticeable you know, amounts, then, you know, definitely in places where it's maybe not by the eye as frequent or as obvious. It can be alarming. So let me bring that up. I want to be able to close them or the, start straining the computer. OK, so next we've got, bitch, leave your face alone. <coughs> so this is uh, people. Uh, OK, so people got HIV because of vampire facials. I Not heard about this. <laughs> I actually heard about this today. I was, I, I heard about this at work. I think this is a new one. Usually, a lot of the times I find old ones, it's like, okay, we'll talk about it. But this is from today. So I think this is relatively new. And, um, well, let's see what she has to say. Oh, wait, hold on. I won't, I'll have to stop. Yeah, you got to stop and then and do the, the button. Here. You're being, you're like a star Zoom audio hey, sharer. I'm, or I'm audio getting video it. Sharer. Boom. Oh, okay, I don't want to hear that though. Fuck off, Coffee Mate. <laughs> it's no ordinary creamer. Coffee Mate. No. Oh, it's smart. It's like, oh, you want to meet me, motherfucker? We will go to a different. Is triple churned and two times richer than milk. Fuck Coffee it Mate. Fuck, coffee. <laughs> Fuck you, Coffee Mate. International delight. <laughs> All day. Perfect. Can we start saying like out of tune really loud? Like, can maybe cover it up. Oh, now we can't hear this shit at all. Where the VIP spa used to be, and now it's closed. But if you came here for an injection-related procedure anytime between May or September of last year, you should get tested as soon as possible. 
It's a situation that no one wants to be in. That could affect your whole life, and it's like Don't one do it, lady. decision, and it's like it changes everything. Yeah. So it, it is scary. On Monday, the New Mexico Department of Health announcing they are investigating two cases of HIV infection among clients who got a vampire facial at the VIP spa in Albuquerque. This is wrong yeah. for people to try to alter their face, and then the clinic to do that. That's bad. The Department of Health closed down the VIP spa in September 2018 <laughs> after they identified practices that could potentially lead to infections, not just of HIV, but hepatitis B and C. Health officials say both clients were exposed to the virus through injection related procedures at the facility. Why would anybody trust some random spa person to draw blood? From their face. It was, it was horrifying. Dr. Dean Baer, the medical director at another spa, says people should always make sure they are going to a medical facility to get the vampire facial. Look at the check, the certification. Okay, Look at the woman on the table. What? Uh, what the fuck is a vampire Stop. facial? So what okay. they do is that they pull the Go blood and then yeah. they separate it and then they inject they separate basically, the plasma. Yeah, they, and then they inject it back into your face. For the, the plasma. Uh, wait, uh, okay, well, for the purpose of? It's supposed to rejuvenate the cells or something. Yeah. So they're, yeah. okay, look, look plasma the, treatments. Can you, see, can you right. see this one, John, where she's got the sh mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, man, it's fucking looks... Why? Wow. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, so this is... A lot of the weird is really sad, but um, this one's weird. This one's plenty weird. I mean, at least it's your own blood. But, so, um, how did two cases of HIV? Improper uh, use and disposal of, of the needles. needles. It's the needles it's the, themselves. And this is so, just some kind of unlicensed place here that's doing this. In yeah, Albuquerque. Wow. Yeah, they didn't have a medical license. So you Hola. Have Sabias que coffee, coffee mate sucks. Coffee mate sucks. Desde cuándo sé esto? We're not listening to Coffee Mate on my end. Perfect mate. Nope. So I'm here with Dr. Erica. What is the Your first step of this Erica. magical process? So the first step <laughs> is clean your face. And then we put a nice thick layer of topical anesthetic so that we get you nice and numb so that you don't feel the procedure. Oh, that's cool. great. I would prefer not to feel it. <laughs> Okay, so my face is. <laughs> yeah. We'll just yeah, fast okay. forward through that. Pulling her fucking and get rid of that under eye circle that people have that they complain oh, about, um, the discoloration. Like, oh and since a lot of times you can't put Botox right here to get rid of those fine lines. Anyways, yeah. So it's weird. It's being slow. It doesn't like it. Okay. I don't care. That's fine. Weird. Audio was good. And let's see, next is, okay, so sometimes things get weird. Sometimes old men get irritated. This guy decided to fill up a super soaker and squirt it on a lady, apparently because he was tired of her bringing her dogs to pee in front of his house. Makes me think of uh, that one song from Rent. Um, the Sakita Evita just won't shut up. Basically, it's about one of the characters in the mu it's a musical, and mm -hmm. one of the characters in it, um, Angel. Um, they were basically like playing music on the street, and they were approached by this rich woman who said that they she was so tired of this dog yapping and like barking and um, and just to play keep playing it playing their drum just until the dog pretty much you know yeah i don't know why it made me think of that maybe <laughs> that, i don't know why it made you me think tell of us that song. <laughs> you I tell us I, well i don't know i mean i guess probably just that kind of um it most one thinks of the line this akita evita just won't shut up um and just like i'm sure that i like basically i guess probably that attitude that the person who was hiring angel to do that just made me think of that person with the super soaker. I missed when yeah. Pensive's comment came in, but Pensive said that made me, that put me off my easy peeler orange. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put that on a shirt? 
I'm sure Pensif will give you permission. You just got to send him some steam. Kids mm. are tight. <laughs> steam is cryptocurrency. Oh. We'll send you uh, some if you set up an account. Oh, uh, okay. A 50-year-old woman. Um, it was his own urine. So I can imagine that procedure. So he put that in a super soaker. Fucking bitch. This is the last time. You know, like, whatever. It, it took him like five minutes just to get it going. Right. Like, oh, she's going to be here in a minute. You know. He filled it up so fast that there was a little bit of spillage. Ended up a little yeah, bit ended up exactly. on the living room floor. Uh, it was a mess. It was a mess. Um, so, you know, I don't know. This is one of those things. Motive was unclear. Okay, so the motive was unclear, so I guess I made that up, but I can imagine it was something. <laughs> I can imagine. Some kind of get off my fucking lawn sore thing. I mean, look at the guy. Urgh, you know, he's, you know. For, for those of you guys watching on cool. mine, come on in. We have a new number or temporary number for today 599 401 010 on zoom.us. Introduce mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Rebecca. We have a couple, couple more weird news stories to go and. We're talking about live streaming with Rebecca, who has never live streamed before. I've never manned it. I'm never like, I've never done, the... done her own. But I told her that she would be a good candidate for either live streaming her own show or live streaming gameplay or, or kind of wherever she felt comfortable going. I think that uh, I think you'd be good. Oh, thank you. Well, I was on a show on another show with uh, John a couple weeks ago, and apparently it was uh, a hit. Or quote unquote, I guess I don't know. It was. Have you went back to see how many views that got? Mm mm. No. I think the last time I saw it had a hundred of something. Yeah, that was good. Oh yay! I'm so, oh gosh, my nerves are coming out. Are they right now? Are they out now? A wee bit. <laughs> oh, you're doing fine. And but this is open space, so it's like you can come and come and go as you please without any judgment or repercussions so if it if the shit gets too deep just gotta close the zoom room and you're gone boom but you're welcome back Dude. every tuesday at 9 30. every tuesday so is everybody something yeah what's up next all right this is actually the last scheduled one i'm um, afraid this is, I don't know be why. very afraid <clears throat> it's after that last one this one's interesting and creepy, but not. It's more of like a, I don't know what your moral <clears throat> ethics are kind of thing. So, we'll check it out. Boom. Um, let's see. Is this this video? I guess it is. Um. Human composting bill. Yeah, human composting bill was actually passed. Wait, and like not just humans composting, like human composting mm, indeed yes like okay. so like instead of a donor uh organ donor card you would say yeah you can you compost, can my, compost body. my body for trees yeah. and medical marijuana and whatever yeah, smuggle other a couple stuff. you know grape seeds up your you know and <laughs> go in, go in you know, going blazing you know what i'm saying so that would be perfect oh like an oak dude. tree or something I actually, like, if, honestly, I would like thinking about that a couple weeks ago, actually, where, like, um, I would want, like, basically, like, a pot, giant pot and have, like, a tree or, or a plant of some sort grow out of it. Mm -hmm. They do that. They do that with cremated ashes. They'll take it and they'll take your ashes, plant it in with a nice soil mix and, a, and either a sapling or, you know, whatever kind of tree you want. Right. And, uh. And yeah. Let's see. If you want a less traditional burial, Katrina Spade <laughs> needs to give it to you. Farmers all around the U.S. have done this for decades now, um, and it's t it's technically a form of composting, uh, taking natural materials so like wood chips Seattle. and straw and covering a body with them. And over that time, uh, several weeks time, <laughs> microbial activity breaks down the body into a soil. Spade is the founder of Recompose, a company that wants to give people the choice to become soil when they die. 
They worked with Washington State University to test its safety for environmental and human health. Six people donated their bodies for the study. Spade says it's not just safe, it offers eco benefits. With cremation, you have good choice uh, of that star right there and emission of carbon and mercury and particulates into the atmosphere. And then with conventional burial, there's quite a carbon footprint from the manufacture and transport of caskets, grave liners, and then the uh, upkeep of cemeteries. So you have those two options, which again, if people want those options, absolutely, they need to, they need to remain. Um, but recomposition uses about an eighth of the energy of cremation. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And also has significant uh, carbon reduction, thanks in part to the sequestration that happens of the materials during the process. There has been some criticism from religious groups Ooh, questioning the, the criticism. Practice. Let's hear the criticism. Hear the criticism. Oh, is it just, Come is on. it gumming up? <clears throat> yeah, it was like, oh, criticism, no. <laughs> no the internet has no place for that, good sir. Oh. <laughs> is spiritual an option for them as traditional burial is for others. First of all, we're trying to add one more choice for Washington folks. So it certainly isn't about making anyone do something they don't want. It's about giving another option for us to choose from. And I will say for some people, um, this option feels really kind of spiritual. The ability to return to the earth after we've died and to nourish the land again is actually something that really resonates for people. And there we go. Boom. Uh, Frank Bacon said blazing. So I don't know if he said it if he said it for this one or if he said it for the previous one what were we just talking about would it make sense it doesn't make sense here we were just talking about that what no we we're talking about the super soaker of piss oh, like... frank let us know which one it was oh my gosh um but yeah so this this is this is cool i instantly think cuz we've got so much of conspirators on d live especially that like i've heard with like the organ the organ donor card that there's a conspiracy that you know the government will you know pull the plug or not save people on purpose if they've got that on their id so that they can you know harvest it for the government so i'm like oh that's just that's what this is right <laughs> uh, you know what i have no problem with this no not at all i probably like i don't think this is it, weird really. at all yeah i i don't know Seems how about you cheaper, rebecca less, is it weird not burdening your family you know Maybe get like what you could do is maybe um, you could you could do the composting and then maybe have like a memor have it like be for a tree and then put like a memorial bench next to that to it and have it be have that be the gravestone so to speak. Oh, yeah, you could, you okay. could definitely do something like okay. that. It's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah, and I like what she said there about just having different options. For people to do what they want, and if it's yeah. if it's legal, it's safe. And, and I like that it said six people donated themselves to research this <laughs> yeah. to research this process. Frank says no. Uh, set the bodies on fire. White Walker remediation program. Mm. So Frank's what? on that different level tonight. Have you ever seen? There's an old horror movie. It might be Motel Hell. <clears throat> where they would bury the people up to their necks and they were like gardening people no no one else just me I was into uh work. it sounds familiar but i would I never be able to place it super corny you know B -movie yeah. Style. yeah 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 so where i'm getting a lot of my stuff is from this place called fark.com f-a-r-q <laughs> Uh, with a K, F A R K. F A R K. Yeah. And... Are you okay? <laughs> that that's very Beavis of you. <laughs> like the <laughs> like the sex ed uh, the sex ed episode. You will uh, you, we will learn about the penis and the <laughs> vagina. <laughs> How to fark? Is it, there's got to be some background <laughs> joke between you and someone else, Rebecca, because... <laughs> I 
I was gonna say, yeah, it's it's comical, but oh, no, I just have the mind of a four. No, no, no? I just have the sense of humor that's of a four year old. Oh, okay, that's okay. Perfect. okay. I that's a great. Thing. Fark, fark, <laughs> fark, 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 <laughs> fark, <laughs> fark, 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 fark. Oh, um, yeah, John. Yes. Did you ever tell Sean about um, the thing I did during during? Amy's I did interview? not tell her. I did not tell him about your Cartman imitation. Your mastery of it. You should do it as Sean <laughs> talks about Fark. You, you brought should, it up. You should co only comment as Cartman. Okay. So. I gotta warm up. I gotta warm up. Give me a second. That's fine. Alright. Okay, guys. I'm going here. Why? Good. I like it. Perfect. I can tell that once you, if you got into it and got comfortable, you'd start nailing it. It takes a certain. It's one of those ones that like everyone. You just... were my fridge the mint. <laughs> I remember when he the Hella ex episode came out. Oh my god! Everyone used Hella. Hella too much. Um, Fark is pretty cool because they just. I don't know if people. I think people are putting these in they just like drop the links okay um, as you can see and so you got just tons and so i get them from here and this other guy before we started the steaming pile i was on anchor.fm <laughs> the app mm -hmm. and there's a uh, weird af news is done by a comedian there and for I'm some reason it reminds me of the redneck 50 50 challenge the redneck 50 50 challenge reddit oh the reddit 50 oh. 50 challenge yeah Never heard of that. It just been, so if it just been links, you don't know if it's gonna be the real thing, if it if it's gonna be one thing or the other. I'm starting to screw this up. Oh. Um, basically it's a link and it'll say like kitten in a basket or guy gets hit in the head with a baseball bat. And then you and click. you don't you click and you don't know what it is yeah. until it pops up. It's either real or fake. It, well, it's either the kitten in the basket or the guy getting hit in the head with gotcha, a baseball bat, gotcha. and you don't know. Uh, Frank says Fark is an awesome nerd news aggregation platform. Yeah. So I get them a lot from here and a lot from that. So I'm going to invite that comedian guy on to a weird news episode and see if he wants to. Because I used to call in and do bits. So, like, I would call in and pretend I was the woman getting the vampire facial with HIV. Like, it, it'd get risque, but it was so fucking fun. I would just call in, hey, this is, you know, it was just the whole thing. And he'd, like, put him into highlights, and he says people hardly ever do it. I started listening to it again because I forgot about him. But with Anchor, they populate automatically to all the major casters. And so I do a weird one that people haven't heard of called CastBox. And finally, just randomly, I'm looking for new stuff. Every now and then, I'll pop in what's popular, what's new. I thought, well, I'm doing weird news. Let's look up weird news podcasts. And his came up, and I was like, shit, I want to start calling into his show again and get him on. Um, I don't know if he said he used to do video, and then he went podcast, which obviously he's doing daily. But maybe right. he would want to do like a weekly one with us where we like go back and forth. And, and yeah. You know, uh, kind of play off each other so i don't know that could be cool so that's what i'm going to try and do there and fark is cool it was uh, hard to listen to you when i'm it's reading cincinnati awesome. no, cincinnati notices there hasn't been a Chuck E. cheese fight in a while <laughs> let's go to it <laughs> boom what sparked the melee Chuck e. cheese in sharonville sent three adults and a child to hospitals <laughs> saturday afternoon <laughs> yeah buddy that's perfect uh are we still shared with sound i don't know i have any way to let's hear you tell me Yep. have a uh a massive altercation here in our in our store oh it's gonna be it's gonna be a commercial it's gonna be coffee mate that's okay it i'm just muting oh. it's like a big big altercation i need i need um i need them now several people called 911. first big major altercation but i didn't hear a lot of ruckus in the background he went to an office to call for sure he was oh like yeah trying to he's ducking out up. he's like, ducking out he's not in the middle of know. uh yeah it's like, it's like uh willie it's like gene wilder's willy wonka help police murder <laughs> he's exactly. like he's like They're hiding he's mark. like hiding behind <laughs> chuck e cheese like he's ducking up, behind the, the stage yeah behind the band <laughs> <laughs> 
This fight involved a large group of people. One parent said she took kids to the back of the store to the bathroom to get away from the fight. Yeah, thank God. Uh, you need to send the police to Chuck E. Cheese on Kempa Road, uh, A side. There's a big group of people fighting 10 grown men and with all these kids everywhere. According to Sharonville Police, one child, a bystander, was injured and taken to the hospital. Three wow. adults involved in the brawl also taken to hospitals. Grow up, people. Yeah, someone, someone's bleeding. Someone's bleeding. Do we need an ambulance? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Sharonville Police not able to add much clarity to the chaos, telling us the altercation was already over by the time their officers arrived. Are there any weapons that you can see? No, there's not a lot of weapons. There's a guy that's hurt really bad, though. Okay. How old? Where is he hurt at? At his face, he's messed up. Police have given us... Okay, well, there you go. Where's the video? Wow. Where's the video from the restaurant? Come on, cheap ass. Information Chuck e. other than a know, press release. No one pulled out. No one pulled out the, uh, the the cell phone. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Shit can go down. Shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chuck E. Cheese's can get pretty shady, you know? It's not Maybe the... it's, like five it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, it's exactly like Friday Night Friday Night's, it's And Five Frank Nights Bacon Friday. just said Chuck E. Cheese is a badass news aggregation service. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a, a card two for people a... Left the scene. Two people left the scene. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese is on the run. Speaking of, I wonder... Oh, that one was from far away. Oh, I saw shit, one of, man. like, a guy in a bunny suit beating people up. That was a pretty interesting one, but, um... The one oh, that whoa, I whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. Go down a little. Go down, down a little. Down. Down, down. Thieving clowns steal... Sex toys drop car keys. Oh, what the oh, hell? The butt plug bandits <laughs> and the dildo <laughs> clown thief. Hey, bizarre true crime story. You weren't making that up. <laughs> butt dildo, <laughs> butt plug <laughs> bandits and the dildo clown thieves. A bizarre true crime. Story. No. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> no, that. Look at not... that. This is fan this is fantastic already. Wow. And they went for long instead of girth, I see. So that's interesting. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a wave right. of theft has hit adult stores. Peaches and cream has been arrested. Oh, With man. rampant it's clowns and suspected rampant. drug addicts pilfering expensive <laughs> sex toys over the weekend. Oh, my God. This is great. I actually thought of the guy opening up the trench going, hey, yo, I got 12 inches. I got thicks. I got blacks. What do you want? I got everything. Look at this. Okay, so let's see. Um, you got a lot of people on their way to or from dinner. Some are browsing, having a giggle. Some are there to buy for afterwards if dinner goes well. It's a really nice night to work. <laughs> but last Saturday, around 9 p.m., two men entered the store, dropping a large bag as the door at the door as if to show they weren't pilfering, she said. They browsed, inspecting the wares and examining the set, expecting the wares. Hmm, okay, I could use one of these. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Um, examining a sampler for a pro prostate massager. Marguerite wasn't buying it. One guy was way too chatty and he started to get creepy, so I asked him to leave. The other guy took a pile of stuff and walked towards the counter. When he got two meters away, they just sprinted from the door for the door. Hmm. I um, grabbed him by the hoodie and started screaming, help, thief, help. The street is chock-a-block. There are people that's, all around. So Dumb and Dumber action. ran off like a cartoon yeah. character. Feet in the air, flailing about in gift boxes they'd grab just went flying. There were cock rings, <laughs> condoms, and a big bottle of lube all over the footpath. <laughs> then the charger for the cock ring fell out. He grabbed the cock ring, but he's got no charger, and it's a specific kind, so he's stuffed, really. Where was this? Like, this is different language. Is this, um, is this in America? Let's see. Well, I mean, it's called peaches and cream. Yeah, but he, but he, they're saying things. I mean, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, Let's a little do-gooder from Ohio, and I don't talk like this. It's certainly ret written. Uh, a New Zealand-owned business is currently celebrating its 20th anniversary, despite competition from online retailers like Amazon. I would I would say don't steal because now they're the butt plug bandits, but I could have recommended something that suits their needs. <laughs> Stupid. Well, that's cheesy. Right. But um, interesting. 
Interesting. <clears throat> that picture, I don't know. I mean, those guys I love that picture. They had makeup on. What kind of fucking clown if that's robbing things? Doesn't that put the, the face on? It's weird. Do you have it's to go enough. all out? Do you have to go all clown? Can't you just well, wear the... Oh, well, that's a that's good point. Saying, yeah, robbery, yeah, yeah. What is the better time like, to do Like, why would you... Right, 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 right. <laughs> Otherwise, what the fuck are you doing? Just dressing up like a clown? <laughs> They're just oh, dressing up like clowns. They don't. They weren't expecting. Twenty sixteen get... called back. They want. Twenty sixteen called. They want their meme back. That's true. That would be. Look at that. They wouldn't. Ah, this is just odd. <laughs> New Zealand. I've lots of weird shit been happening in New Zealand. Lots of these so stories are from New Zealand. Um. See, it says weird in the weird news, though. It has like this another shooting. Uh, can you thing. aggregate this by the number of like votes they have next to it on the right? Oh, okay, let me see. Um, I don't know if you're able to or not. Find out how to fark. Oh, this is really farking funny. This is farking hilarious. The farking best. Does yeah, I, fark I mean, give a fark if we f steal their farking? Algorithm. News. I guess we'll find out if they give a fuck. Oh, there's I something guess. new. If Boom. if they do, fuck you. <laughs> fuck off. We're doing it anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyways, so yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for letting us under the hood. We're definitely yeah. gonna have to. Uh, it. We, we might have. I. I like the. I like the. Natural aggregation where we bring some stories or you bring some articles, but then this manual where we just kind of take who's on the call and dive in and look at some of them is cool too. Yeah, I think that'll be a good way to do it. Um, and then I did the like other weeks we can plan one. our panels, plan our panel discussions. Our, I thought you you were about to say plan our flannels. I was like, are, is there like <laughs> a dress code to this we thing? Plan our do flannels. I need? <laughs> No, we're going to do some other panel discussions. We can plan our flannels, though. I'm fine with that. But we're going to do some Whenever month... they come out with the pumpkin spice lattes again this fall, we'll all, first day that's available, you guys can just get some flannel. I'm game. I want I'm the Washington. Steam I logo. I want the Steam logo on my lapel. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, Rebecca... You mm -hmm. have to get OBS on your computer. Okay. You have to get a D Live account, maybe, but I, I would start with a Steam account first. Like Steam, like the game. Like S T E E M. Oh, okay. That would be a good account to have. And then figuring out like kind of what platform you want to use to stream, whether you want to use or we use Caster, C A S T R dot I O. Mm -hmm. And that allows you to take your own individual uh, feeds for like YouTube, Vim, DLive, Twitch into one. And so you can have one stream come out of your OBS and you put in the caster stuff and it simulcasts to all of your channels. Okay. So like right now, mine is on Vim and on YouTube. And Sean's streaming strictly to D Live. Okay. All right. Um, and plus, this will be this is VOD, so it'll be. Um, yep. Available. And I'm sure there are also tutorials that I could look up. Everywhere. Too. Everywhere. Yep. Everywhere. And I would also start with your boyfriend's friend who does it. And then come in here if you have any questions. Or come in here on Tuesday nights just because. Just because? Yes. Yay, people like me. Holy crap. I never had <laughs> friends. What? No. Nope. Well, you do now on the steaming pile, TSP Productions. Well, I had friends, but well, you know what I mean. Like, I, I was... gotcha. I definitely know. What did you think know. of, uh, what did you think of weird news? I was not expecting that. <laughs> I've... <laughs> Poor Rebecca. I, I didn't tell her anything about like yeah, you what we did. I I'm like, was like, oh my I'm god, like, dude. Oh, come in. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? 
Yeah. Sometimes that's the best way. Yeah. Okay. That's why I was kind of just sitting here, like, like kind of just watching. I was just like, Mm -hmm. what have I got? Dear Lord, what have I gotten myself into? That's what we say every Tuesday. Yeah. We We like to mix it up. But, I, yeah, I think doing this regularly Tuesdays and then, you know, we'll plan the panel out for the, a special day around where when we're available and whoever the guest tends, ends up being. Um, yeah, I've got a couple ideas, so I'll definitely be doing some networking Okay. now that I've talked it out with you. And we'll finalize a day, uh, the three of us or however many uh, people we get. Um I think I'm going to reach out to um, Yang again, Andrew Yang, but For differently. Sure. Maybe even through like Crypto Slate, if I could make a deal with like Mitchell to like stream it for the steaming pile on behalf of him, like he could interview him even or something. Mm-hmm. You know, so we'll figure that out. That could be cool. Mm-hmm. That'd be a, a great panel then. Like the future of, yeah. Shit, I just thought of that just now. So who, uh, who, uh, or now. the panel could be who's who is who's going to be the Bitcoin president. Mm. I don't know, but I hear what you're saying. Is like I like what you're saying. Have, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, because you know, so there's the there's a different type of feeling in this space around government governance and things like that, and then there's also people that are not in this space that are okay with uh, digital currency and Bitcoin and block uh, distributed ledger technology and kind of what's, what's the future of money look like. And so if you put it out, not like who's going to be the U S Bitcoin president, but more of like, who's going to be the Bitcoin president. You might be able to get different people that, that have a thought. Are you saying you'd be get different people that would, that it's them flesh this out yeah, a little or bit th- or that could speak to it right so i'm thinking okay. andrew yang could be one of them but we yeah. might get roger veer on here from bitcoin cash or we might get okay. the guy who created or who stuck the like the group that did the bitcoin sv type stuff i don't know we so might get how about like who will be the bitcoin president and what will it look like maybe would be like a the extrapolation like yeah. okay what would they be but then what does it what do, what is the bitcoin president would be the, the larger question like what do we want to see in adoption what do we want to see in national laws and regulation uh that sort of thing i could and see pitching a, it right pitching it to futurists and people that are m- yeah. more trying to be on the cutting edge of technology yeah, yeah 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 that'd be good yeah i could definitely get crypto slate on behind it and um put something together yeah i think mitchell would like that that's a good idea so we'll put that on there too and we'll just see which one comes together which one that looks like would come okay. together and okay we'll from there. yeah and that and might we'll be, be it might be something that we need that might be something like a month or two down i mean that might be next month that we do that one i don't know well we can give that one time for sure just to give us a good chance i mean andrew's gonna just be getting more and more busy so i mean we can't hold our breath too much for that so we'll just look for other people too and if even like last minute he's able to pop in for even a minute then he's obviously right i want to get him on i want to find a compelling reason to get him on i know it's all about the angle right he's just got so much he's doing Mm -hmm. i think he's i still feel he's accessible right he Mm -hmm. there's still something that feels like he is and he'd be willing for the right angle and i you know crypto is definitely that but we were super niche saying you know come and talk about this one thing he probably has never heard of Right, you know, so we'll just expand it a bit and come at him with a different idea, and yeah, all right, we'll see. Cool, yeah. Well, thank you, everyone who tuned in on my channel. I'm gonna get going tonight, yeah. yeah this was good, this was perfect. And uh, next week, we'll do the same thing, uh, exactly, do a little maybe talk before, um. Maybe I'll have it be only like 15 minutes, and so 45 after is when, or yeah, 15 till, basically. Uh, we'll get started with weird news. And um, if you go to Discord, um, 
I don't have it up right now, but if you can find our Discord, uh, we'll start a room there where we'll be dropping weird news clips. So if fans can uh, go in there and if they see something local or something national that we think we might want to cover, you can throw it in there and we'll look at it and add it to the agenda. And yeah, excuse me. Help aggregate weird news. And Rebecca, I'm going to send you links for uh, creating a Steam account, a uh, link to our Discord chat, and a link to OBS. Okay. All right. Sweet. All right. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys. Good night. Nice to thank meet you, so Sean. Much. Yeah, thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, uh, for sure. See you again next week. Yeah, you're always welcome. It was fun to have you. Always have the guests in mind um and it's always good to have different you know points of view and meeting people mm -hmm. thank you again next week 6 30 uh 6 45 for d live uh weird news or wherever you're watching weird news thank you uh and good night and thank you everyone good you guys know. and good all right <laughs> 9 30 9 30 if you're an east coaster of course of or middle course. or midwestern before chicago <laughs> All right, guys. Oh. Good night. See you Bye. next week. See you in Discord. Bye.